Great article written for the International Forecaster by Bob Chapman. Federal Reserve runs our country. We'll go over that today. He joins us every Friday. Bob Chapman, of course, uh, at a time had the biggest financial newsletter in the world. He retired for several years, came back. It's the internationalforecaster.com. Incredibly accurate predict, uh, predictions and projections on what's going to be coming up in the future. We'll be talking about the dollar, about the stock market, about gold, about everything that's happening today. Uh, Bob Chapman, always great to have you up with us. Well, thank you very much. It's uh, just great to be here again. Instead of throwing out all my questions first, what is most important on Bob Chapman's plate? What What is front and center on Bob Chapman's radar? Well, I think there's two things. Number one, Ron Paul's 1207 and the 604 in the Senate uh, for the investigation and audit of the Fed. I see that uh, they're trying to add things to it. They've got a couple of other uh, people, Democrat and Republican, who have entered things in, and, and Ron's done a tape on it. I have it in tomorrow's issue. And um, I, th I think that's so, so important for the American people, because if we can expose what the Fed's done and is doing, then the public will say, well, gee, we don't want that anymore, and we'll do away with it. And that is the heart in the core of what they run everything in America from. The Fed is their key, so to speak, uh, for control of our economy and lots of other things. I think the second thing is for people to realize that, uh, you know, uh, Alex and I were on together with um, uh, Dr. Roberts. Uh, it must have been about uh, nine months ago, and we both said we thought this uh, situation uh, with money and the dollar was going to uh, continue for about a year and a half to two and a half years, and, uh, Alex, you thought it would happen more quickly. And uh, I'll still stick to that. I think we're a year and a half to two years away. And in January, as you know, I came out and said that I thought that there would be a, an official value devaluation about a, a year and a half to two down the line. And, uh, and, I, and, and almost 11 months ago, at the start of this year, you said gold was going to go well above 1,000 by the fall. You were right about that. You said the stock market would run back up to near previous highs before they plunge it again. And so you just continue right down the line to be accurate. Thank you very much. But the important thing is for people to prepare themselves. And uh, I know that you're big on gold and silver coins, and I think everybody else should be. And I think it's extraordinarily important that you move a good part of your wealth into that area. And I'm not going to belabor it, but... That's the third most important thing because we've only completed phase one. We're going to go through phase two of the uh, increase in gold and silver prices, and so that will bring us up to somewhere between 2500 and 3000 And then th phase three uh, should take us close to $7,000. Whether it will go anywhere from that, uh, any further than that at that time, I don't know. But official inflation... I think it's about $6,700 an ounce based upon 1980s 850 high in gold. And uh, John Williams, who's a wonderful economist, uh, thinks it's going to be 7150 and I won't argue with him. And so those are the top things in my agenda. All right, let me stop you there. Let me be devil's advocate. And I've got my money in gold and silver, but let me be devil's advocate here. Gold could start going down. I'm going to hold on to mine because I know they're going to kill the dollar. I know you can't trust the system. And I like the sure bet. I don't have gold and silver as an investment. I have it as a hedge on inflation, as an emergency insurance policy. But certainly, I bought most of the gold and silver I had when silver was $5 an ounce and gold was 290 300 the issue here, but 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 you don't see me selling my my meager supplies now that it's at one thousand sixty plus right now, almost quadrupling. Now we're moving up on. That said, when I start seeing CNN, Fox, MSNBC, CNBC like infomercials for gold and silver, saying it's going to go way above two thousand this year, early next year, it's a guarantee. Then I go, wait a minute, these guys almost always lie or have a trick up their sleeve or are trying to bamboozle somebody to pull the rug out from under them. Uh, or are they just 
capitulating and going with it because the elite are already so deep in gold and silver, they've always planned to kill the dollar. Now they're starting that, so why shouldn't they run it up because they already own it? What's going on? It's the latter. And, uh, uh, yes, they do have gold and silver, and they have a great deal of it, and they usually, like we, uh, take physical delivery. And uh, the the dollar has been destined for a long time to collapse, uh, at least from, you know, the heights that it had been before. And uh, and so the the process of what you're seeing now, and I'll give you a good example. J.P. Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, Barclays, Hong Kong, Shanghai Bank have all said that they think the gold over the next few years is going to 2,000 to 2,500. Now, what they're doing is they're covering the tracks because later they can say, well, look, we told you. They don't talk about it every day. Those estimates were made several months ago. And what they're doing is saying, well, uh, gold is going to go up, and uh, we think it's going to go to where official inflation says it should be, which is somewhere between $2,300 and $2,500 an ounce. And so consequently, they have exceeded that. But in the meantime, the dealers that you see on television uh, who are advertising, they know the same thing that you and I and Ted know, that it is going up there, and that's why you're seeing the ads. And so in part, they have given in, and they, they're giving up 2000 to 2500 But in doing that, what they're saying is, we don't think it's going any higher. And we're saying it now. And when we get there, they'll say, yeah, we said it was going here, but it isn't going any higher. So you think they're putting an artificial ceiling on the inflation? Because gold isn't really going up. The dollar and paper assets are going down because of the derivatives. That's true. And every other currency is going down. Now, lately, most of them have done fairly well against gold because the dollar is going down. And that will continue to happen over time, but sooner or later, all the fiat currencies are going to get hit versus gold. Is that That's pushing? Why, is is that pushing the announcement in the last two weeks that now foreign nations majority are purchasing foreign currencies, not dollars? They've officially left the dollar, but that starts the decline, or can that be reversed? Well, I don't think it can be reversed because if you get a look at the figures at the beginning of the year on foreign exchange holdings by foreign nations in total. 64.5%, which really surprised me, unchanged from the previous year, was in dollars. That figure today is 62.8%. So they are dollar sellers. Not in a massive way, but they are dollar sellers. I mean, you look at China. They sold about 1.4, excuse me, they sold about um, uh, $300 billion worth of uh, U.S. Treasuries and, and agency paper uh, uh, from now to, to the beginning of this last, uh, this year that we're in. And, um, what they've done here in the last two months is they bought, they bought about $35 billion worth. And so do you say to yourself, well, if they're trying to get rid of dollars, why are they doing that? Well, they're doing that because their currency was getting too strong. So what they do is they print yawn, they take it and buy dollars, and they take the dollars and buy treasuries, and they reduce the value of their currency for trade purposes. That's why they're doing that. But they are, in fact, dumping dollars. Are you tired of losing your hard-earned savings in retirement? Does the continued loss of purchasing power through the hidden tax of inflation brought on by trillions of dollars in government bailouts bother you? Then please let me, Dwayne Daly, with Midas Resources, help you to protect what you have left. Call me at 800-686-2237, extension 115, and I will explain to you how to retain your wealth and purchasing power now and in the future with gold and silver. Gold and silver have been a form of currency for 6,000 years compared to our present fiat currency, which has only been in existence for 38 years and failing fast. Call me, Dwayne Daly, at 800-686-2237, extension 115, to start your protection of wealth today. I will custom fit the protection package to your personal needs. No amount is too small, so start today. Call Dwayne Daly with Midas Resources at 800-686-2237, extension 115, for your gold and silver protection portfolio. We're going to open the phones up in the next segment and blitz through some news with Bob Chapman. 
Bob continuing to cover what's happening. For laymen out there that may not fully understand all these details, the media is trying to act like Arabs or the Chinese or the Russians or the Japanese are killing the dollar. I see reports every day with heads of state saying, please don't kill the dollar. Please stop your central banks. Why are you doing this? Why won't you raise interest rates so that we can then buy your dollars? Why are you destroying your country? Why have you done this to us? But then our media, when they finally announce it's dead, are going to blame it probably on some third world Arab country and good old boys will put cowboy hats on and go, nuke them. They did it. I love Ben Bernanke. I love Obama. Kill them. Uh, how do we explain to people that this is a by design vertical integration? It's pretty difficult because they'd have to believe everything that we were going to tell them before we told them. In other words, we say, Mr. Jones, look, I'm going to tell you what's going on behind the scenes and why.